are. We're taking a walk just one week after having outpatient knee replacement surgery. Not using a cane. How does that feel walking Feels on great. it? great. So hi, I'm Dan. Mm -hmm. um, I, I've had knee problems for the, probably the last 10 years. Um, I try to be a man, right? Like, uh, <laughs> that's the funny thing. Um, I downplayed the pain that I actually had. Um, I can't be outside like I want to. I can't really hang out with the kids. I found myself on the recliner leg up instead of going to hang out with them. Um, so that was kind of the, the call. And I went and came to see you, I think it was in February this year. Um, and I think you asked me ready for surgery. You looked at all my stuff, got x-rays, and you were like, you're absolutely a candidate. And I'm like, okay, why wasn't I? Why didn't I do this before? Why didn't I think that a replacement was it? Speaking with Matt, Dr. Dharmafal, I should have saw the signs, you know, a year prior that maybe a re full replacement was the best. So that's when, um, actually this last, Chris last Christmas, my wife asked me what I want for Christmas. I said, a bright, shiny new knee. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I got what I asked for. Um, the day of surgery, I was very nervous. I'm like, what did I ask for? I don't know if I want to do this anymore. You know, I'm like, ah, oh, babe, maybe I can just live with the pain a little bit longer. She's like, no, that's what you want. Just, let's just try it, let's do it. But what's the worst that can happen? It's gonna hurt the rest of your life? I'm like, well, I guess that's, I'm already dealing with that. So, um, surgery was great. The, I'm um, a frequent flyer with the Mississippi <laughs> Surgery Center. Um, so actually I knew the nurses already, the um, anesthesiologist, I saw him twice already. So very calm and at ease. Um, that process was really easy. I love the, I can go home that day. I don't want to spend the night. Um, but this was the first time I could have a loved one because of COVID stuff, right? She couldn't stay with me. Um, but then after surgery, uh, it was kind of the same with the nerve block. I didn't really have any pain. I had full mobility. I didn't feel like I couldn't use my leg. Um, I remember, it, it's a little hazy sometimes, but I remember walking across the hallway to use the bathroom, then down the hallway with the walker and over the stairs, right? and then back, um, and my wife was a little more concerned than I was, and I walked around that whole, the whole house that night. Um, still not in much pain, maybe a little discomfort. I could kind of feel the swelling, the stiffness. Uh, I woke up the next morning, um, and I decided that the pain that I felt wasn't man was manageable enough where Tylenol would work, and not to take the, I guess, the heavier, mm -hmm pain medications, um, and I stuck with the regimen, the one hour, and that was the first time in that I'd actually received a, hey, every hour do this, right, do these things. Unfortunately, with my military background, like, give me instructions, this is what we do, right? So, 24 years of that, every hour, you know, the TV show would change, and I was up walking, stretching, bending my leg. I wanna get back outside, that's my motivation, um, and I really appreciate it. I feel like, I'm gonna get my life back. Well, that's what we do. So it's been my privilege and honor to be your doctor. So thank you.